first and foremost, uh, congratulations on the film. Thanks. Uh, I saw it at the Toronto International Film Festival right after the, the great reviews out of Venice. Uh, so my, my initial question for both of you is, um, both of you have been at film festivals before, what was it like premiering this particular film at those festivals? Um, I, I mean, I've been to, I'd been to one other film festival before, um, but it, this film was a completely different um, vibe, I feel. It was different audiences. Um, and that was interesting to see, you know, the different people that turn up for different things. And, you know, it's getting good reactions, which was very exciting to yeah, it was really fun. Venice is is really, really fun. It's just so beautiful there, yeah. and it's just an incredibly magic place to show a film. And um, and then Toronto also is, like, such an incredible audience experience. It's really, like, the whole community comes out. So um, it was really fun. And, of course, when people like your movie, it's a lot better. <laughs> it's a <laughs> lot better experience at a festival. So that was fun, too. Mm -hmm. Um, I hate asking this generic question, but I, I'm very curious to hear the answer to it. Um, what were your initial reactions when you read the script? I mean, because it's a very jarring film, and it's a very powerful film, and it's very, you know, the, the reactions are probably all across the board for this. So I was just curious what you, your reactions were when you read it. Well, I was, I was just really interested by... Brady's ideas of bringing together the sort of like pop culture and the violence and and what the relationship is between you know the power that we give to something by paying attention to it um, and then of course with this character in the middle that's like completely wild and extravagant and unlike anything I had read before yeah I um I hadn't completely finished the uh script before I spoke to Brady but the way that he spoke about it you know was really you know made you really want to do it and then it was such an amazing you know amazingly written script and there was two characters that I would get to play and also it's kind of a, a really contemporary piece about the last decade of what's happened in the world and um, which is really interesting for me to kind of because I like I wasn't really around when a lot of it was happening so it was kind of interesting to discover all of that through a different character. Awesome. Um, my favorite scene in the film, uh, and probably just because I'm a press person, was the scene at the press table, the <laughs> round table scene. Um, so going off that, I have to ask, because I know that some of us decide to ask you very weird questions. <laughs> what was your least favorite, well, what is your least favorite question you have been asked at a press event? I get asked a lot about the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, which I'm like, <laughs> I'm here to talk about Thor. <laughs> and they're like, how do you think, you know, you can solve Mideast peace? And I'm like, I mean, I was born in Israel, but I can't. <laughs> I, I wish I knew the answer. I would, pr I pray for the answer, but it's not going to, it's, I'm, I'm sorry to break it to you, it's not going to happen today. <laughs> um, I mean, I don't have any, any of those interesting <laughs> questions. Um, I don't think I've really had any like that. Like I like the ones that are just quite simple, you know, easy answers, quick fire. So I don't mind any questions. <laughs> okay, awesome. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. So wonderful meeting you. Thank, thank you.